So that's the reason why the Grizzlies and Jazz starting a little after 8 p.m. local time. Jaron Jackson's three is off the heel and boarded by Bogdanovich. 96 shot just 41 percent. Lakers shot 51 percent. Bogdanovich. That's too tall and out of bounds in the Grizzlies championship game over the Cincinnati Bearcats. So congratulations to Mike Norvell and the Memphis Tigers apparently bound for the Cotton Bowl. Bogdanovich for the corner for early. Bogdanovich, the former Indiana Pacer, shot clock down to three. Forced into a fadeaway three, rimming no. And when you saw that reach in by Jaron, and that's something where you'd really like for him to be a little bit more disciplined and because you don't want to get cheap fouls and a shooting fouls. Jazz team, that despite the eight and three start breath, they're still trying to figure some things out. Here's Jaron for three. But when you lose five or six, yeah, you have to recalibrate and see where can you be better in situational basketball. Ingles, good delivery, Gobert lays it up and in. And the Grizzlies. I give Coach Jenkins and his staff a lot of credit because the Grizzlies have to be one of the more efficient teams after timeouts. That pass by Bogdanovich, too hot to handle for Rudy Gobert. Yeah, the Grizzlies ATO after timeout conversion rate. We don't have the official numbers, but just the eye test tells you it's really good. Grayson Allen on a slash down the lane, and he drew a foul on the pass off. Aaron Jackson Jr. with 10 for the Grizzlies. He's back into the ball game. Bogdanovich with a leaner, followed his own and drew a foul. For your support of St. Jude and your willingness to go out there and put in the effort. Grayson Allen missed the runner, couldn't get the rebound back. Bogdanovich on the floor with O'Neal, Gobert, Mitchell, and Jeff Green, who misses the dunk. Jeff Green with a little bit more and get a little more physical. Said offensively, we've gotten away from moving it side to side. Got to get back to moving the basketball and trying to create easier shots. Back up by Bogdanovich. Grizzlies late on the run. Gobert yet to record a block. But Gobert has five of the 14. Bogdanovich. Utah has been great at home. They've won 8 of 10 on the road. They have struggled. They have won just 4 of 12. And an offensive foul called on Jaron Jackson Jr. Bogdanovich drives blocked by Jaron. The offensive player going to the basket is something that he's been called for a lot when attempting blocks. Yeah. Good pick up there. Good job by Jaron. That's off of Gobert's hand and out of bounds. Block for Gobert. That time, Grayson allowed the official to call him first. Grizzlies had a foul to give. Bogdanovich steps out for three. Grizzlies trailer. Seven seconds. Bogdanovich. Niang hits the three. Now financial partners. Had a chance to spend some quality time with them, both in Miami and in Indianapolis. And the Grizzlies late getting back defensively. And you cannot trade baskets. Can the Grizzlies put up enough of a fight on the defensive side? They don't do it there. Early look to Bogdanovich from Donovan Mitchell. Behind the count. Bogdanovich drives. Valanchunas outduels go big. They've turned Utah over 14 times for 23 points. Solomon Hill an open three. Rebound Bogdanovich. They get stuck again on the offensive end. They can go back to Jaron Jackson Jr. out on the perimeter against Gobert where they had so much success. Bogdanovich back to back threes. A lot of years here in Salt Lake City doing some radio work on their radio network. Tyus Jones. No basket, offensive foul. Okay, this is the Joe Ingles that we have come to know. The guy that we watched in the first two games that came off the bench, don't know who that guy is. Bogdanovich. Rebound Dylan Brooks. Jazz have equaled their largest lead of the game. Tying a season high with 19. Nearly a knockaway by Jaron, and finally the Grizzlies do get possession. 
Grayson Allen going to charge down the middle, flip it up and in. Grayson Allen. Good job, I tell you, but how about Royce O'Neal? We're talking about his shoot. Five for five from the field, four for four from the three point line, 14 points, five rebounds on five shots. And he loves shooting at home. But Donovan, but offenses come too easily for other teams, and you saw it with Chicago particularly early. And we're seeing it here for the majority of this game by 